TDR Network presents Inspire 2015 Tawakkul is about taking the means and placing one's trust in Allah. It's about taking the means and placing one's trust in Allah. It's not about just placing your trust in Allah and not doing anything. And it's not about taking the means and believing in the means. I think today we have two extremes. We have a group of people who believe in the means, in their education, in their intelligence, in their abilities. That's an extreme. And we have another, they believe in the medicine that they take. I have a headache, I took paracetamol, the paracetamol will make me better. They forget about Allah. And then we have another extreme. Those who say, you know what? We won't take the means. We won't take medicine. We won't go to work. You know, this pot of rice is going to cook by itself. <laughs> right? This is another extreme. It doesn't work like that. You must take the means and you place your trust in Allah. Now, does taking the means mean that you have belittled placing your trust in Allah? No, my dear brothers and sisters. In fact, from the completeness of tawakkul is to take the means, study well, study hard, plan well, strategize well, go to work, look for a job, do your best, and then put your trust in Allah. Lock your house and put your trust in Allah. This is from the completeness of tawakkul. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told his companion, tie your camel and put your trust in Allah. Understand this, that you can do what you need to do. But it is only with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's permission that the things that you do will work or not work. You might take the means, but it might not work. Ya'qub alayhi salam, when his sons were going back to Egypt for a second time, Ya'qub feared the evil eye falling upon his sons. So he told them, when you go back to Egypt, make sure nobody sees you as a big group again. Enter Egypt through different gates. He's telling them to strategize, to take the means. But what did he say after that? But I want you to know that I cannot assist you against the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any way. I can advise you, you can take the means, but if Allah wills, you may still be afflicted. You can lock your house, but if Allah wills, it might get broken into. May Allah protect. Does that make sense? So put your trust in Allah, but take the means. When you take medication, take it and say, Ya Allah, I ask you to make this medication a means of my cure. Put your trust in Allah. Because you could take medicine, but Allah could decree that it won't work. My dear brothers and sisters, just to offer some evidence to the fact that we must take the means. Allah tells us in the Quran, when he commands us to Salatul Jumu'ah, that after the Jumu'ah is finished, فَانْتَشِرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ Go out in the land. وَابْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضْلِ اللَّهِ Go and work. Go and do your job. Go and earn. Why does Allah command us to this? If tawakkul is about not taking the means. Does that make sense? So if somebody tells you tomorrow that what's the evidence that I need to take the means, tell them. The evidence is that Allah commands us to go and work after Salatul Jumu'ah. Why would he command us to do this? Indeed, he's the provider. Right? So this is evidence, inshaAllah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.